Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Accenture then you must be preparing for common application of MS Office because there will be total 10 questions from this chapter and you must know what are the important topics from MS Office and its application and if you want to know about the top questions then this video is for you. Now let me share those questions just before that guys if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please make sure that you have subscribed this and like this video and comment down which content you want more okay. So the important topics are let me just paste here so you can see microsoft excel especially pivot tables formulas and charts microsoft word text formatting mail merge and headers and footers and powerpoint slide layouts hyperlinks and themes so you should also prepared for general keyboard shortcuts for all applications and understanding the user interface very important is user interface and excel table like uh, let's say vlookup hlookup formulas they will give you some conditions and you have to create one formula according to the table given or condition given okay and this is the one important uh, questions or topic and the second important is related to user interface in user interface whatever features are being shown you have to know what is the uh, objective what is the function of that particular tool or that particular feature okay let's say there is a a button okay i mean there is a a at the top of microsoft word what is the function of this a what is the function of conditional formatting what's the function of uh, merge in excel so you have to know the feature of all of those uh, features right so i hope you understood now you may have questions like uh, how can i prepare within this time so we have very less time guys if you have very less time and if you don't know how to prepare etc etc then please refer the materials which is available at topmate.ioslash.tech.uf here we have already included the gamified round questions which you can play live and pseudo code questions cloud and networking basics ms office skills and from computer science and back-end coding questions with answers front-end coding questions sql questions communication assessment interview experience all the things you need to prepare for accenture are available at top main total slash technology uf okay and all of the real questions previous year questions and this year questions you can prepare through the materials which is available at top main total slash technology uf the link is forwarded in the description box or in the comment section please go through that now the questions are hey you ready for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door so as you can see the questions were related in ms uh, in microsoft word what is the purpose of the navigation panel okay so based on these tools based on every features you can be asked to the purposes so i'll go through all the questions related to this type of pattern okay so let's start with the first question so the first question is itself uh, actually from the previous video so i hope you have been watching the playlist of accenture ms office questions so if you have watched then please give the answer in the comment section of this a question okay so this is a quiz question from you uh, for you what is the purpose of the navigation pane in the ms word okay so i hope you will give in the comment section so let's start with the second question how do you add a new slide in ms powerpoint so there are several uh, methods several process you will be given you have to choose the correct one okay if there maybe there can be two correct options so you have to choose the authentic and the most uh uh, optimized way okay so press ctrl n is this possible so let's check okay so in ms powerpoint so if uh, we click ctrl n then it is creating a new project not a new slide okay so i hope uh, you understood so it is not valid this is invalid okay so eliminated okay so option to click on new slide in the home tab right click uh, the slide and select new slide click on the insert and select slide so let's check the second one so click on new slide in the home page okay so in home page there is a button new slide so click on that you will see you will have several uh, several options to choose and you can open a new slide uh, beneath that okay and as you can see as you are hovering to it you will see Control m is the shortcut to 
add a new slide okay so control m not control n okay so just remember this so the correct answer will be option 2 okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the next question that is which feature in ms excel is used to automatically fill in data based on a pattern autofill flash fill quick fill or fill series so by the name itself you can guess the answer so let's just uh, do it hands on as you can see i have written one two three right so these are all integer and serially present that means in increasing order okay so let me just select this three and as you can hover it and it will be like autofill okay so if we drag it down then as you can see four five six seven nine uh, 8 9 10 all are present here so these are the feature of autofill okay so the correct answer will be autofill so i hope you understood so let's go to the next question that is what does the track changes feature do in ms word it tracks document views it records changes made to the document it saves document versions or it locks the document so what will be the correct answer please give the answer in the comment section okay so let me show you the track changes so in ms word inside review button you will see the track changes button okay so basically this will help you to track uh, the changes to record the changes made to the document itself okay so that's why the option two will be the correct answer for this case okay so let's go to the next question that is in ms word ms outlook what is the purpose of the rules feature okay so let me show you the screen so in ms uh, outlook the rule feature is being here right inside the uh, account and then you will see manage rules and alerts and here you will see the feature okay basically uh, in ms outlook it helps us to organize emails automatically okay so option one will be the correct answer so let's go to the next question that is which tool in ms word allows you to create a table of contents index table of figures table of con um, contents or bookmark so again this is a very easy question so i'll not i'll not answer so this is a quiz question for you please give the answer in the comment section i'll give a heart to your comment okay whether your answer is right or wrong i'll give you a heart so please comment down okay so let's go to the next question that is what is the function of the pivot tables in ms excel to create charts to summarize data to perform calculations to format cells okay so uh, before i give the answer i would recommend you to have the prime materials of essential in which you will get all the recent questions with answers which are getting repeated and you will get all the like most of the questions which are uh, which are not available outside okay so i hope you will give importance whatever i'm telling so if you want then please knock me at my study instagram.com slash tf you will get it this is paid but very affordable okay so let's go to the next question sorry let's i'll go to answer so what's the function of the pivot tables in ms excel to create charts to summarize data to perform calculations or to format cells so in this case the correct answer will be option two to summarize the data okay so basically about pivot tables about uh, uh, vlookup and all the lookup these are very important for like uh, um, formula related questions in ms excel okay so please give me points okay so in this case the option two will be the correct answer uh, to summarize the data okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the next question that is how do you create a hyperlink in ms powerpoint so click on insert and select hyperlink press ctrl k right click and select hyperlink or all of the above so which will be the correct answer so let me show you what is the correct answer okay so let's say in ms powerpoint you have written something okay let's say you have written subscribe yes if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe because this motivates me okay so i hope you have subscribed so if i want to uh, enter hyperlink okay so control plus k then as you can see there is a uh, there is a uh, what, what should I, post message or you can say model so this is entering right so there is a hyperlink model is coming okay so this is fine so control k is fine so let me just uh, right click on it okay right click and hyperlink there is an option okay so that means i don't have to 
check the third and the fourth one so that means if two are okay that means all are okay okay so i hope you understood so let's go to the next question that is what is the purpose of the mail merge feature in ms word this is very important question because this question was asked repeatedly on every year and most of the slots regarding mail merge you will have one question okay so this can be expected so what will be the correct answer to create mass mailings to organize emails to format letters to design envelopes so oh, in this case the correct answer will be option a one to create mass mailings okay mail merge is used to mass mailings okay to create mass mailings so which ms excel function calculates the average of a range of numbers so the name itself suggests the answer so i hope you understood okay so let's go to the next question in ms powerpoint what is the purpose of slide master to create new slides to format all slide consistently to add animations to design layout so this question was asked uh, this year on 16th august so please give importance okay so you can see the questions are very easy if you have a basic understanding in ms uh, ms applications okay right so uh, let's get the answer so to create new slides or to format all slide consistently so there is a confusion okay so to create new slides will be the correct answer okay to create new slides okay slide master so let's go to the next question that is what is the use of conditional formatting in ms excel to format sales based on a condition to lock sales or to merge sales or to format all sales similarly so again this is our 12th question so this will be a quiz question for you so i hope you will give importance and you will give the answer in the comment section okay so let's go to the th uh, 13th question that is which feature in ms word is used to combine several cells into one merge cells split cells split cells table cool table tools and cell alignment so what will be the correct answer okay so let me show you okay so let's say i want to merge this three cell okay so there is a, a feature merge and center so i'll choose that as you can see the three uh, column has been merged okay so that means which feature in ms word sorry ms word that was not ms excel okay so actually i have not opened it so let's answer this so in this case also merge cell will be the answer just rem rem remember it okay so let's go to the next question that is what does the smart art tool in ms powerpoint do it creates charts it adds shapes or it creates or uh, diagrams and visuals it uh, or it applies animations so this is very basic again the answer will be smart art creates diagrams and visuals okay guys if you have any contradiction in answer you, you can challenge me or i i can comment down that i'll rectify it okay so in this case option three will be the correct answer okay it creates diagrams and visuals how do you protect an ms excel workbook with a password go to file save as password then uh, go to file into protect workbook so let me just do it okay go to file save as then password or go to file info protect workbook so this seems to be right so let's check it okay go to file then info then protect workbook okay um file then uh info then protect yeah protect workbook so there is an option called protect workbook so i hope this will be the correct answer okay so so in this case the protect uh, i mean the second option will be the correct answer okay so that means this okay so let's go to the next question that is what is the purpose of the reading pane in ms outlook to display the content of selected mails to organize emails into folders to create new emails to set email rules so the correct answer will be to display the content of the selected emails okay so the next question is which feature in ms word is used to create a list with bullet points numbering bullets symbols or table so again this is a quiz question for you so please give in the comment section this is a very easy question so i hope we will uh it'll be engaged in the comment section okay so let's go to the next question that is what does the vlookup function in ms excel do it searches for a 
value in a column it sums of a range of values it averages a range of values it finds the maximum value in a range so for the case of vlookup again this is a very important vlookup hlookup these uh, i mean the formulas of vlookup hlookups are also very important so give importance okay i think uh, in this case the options are wrong actually so please ignore it right now okay so question number 19 is in ms powerpoint what is the purpose of the rehearse timings feature to practice slide source timings to set animation timings to organize slides or to format text so uh, question 19 the correct answer will be option 1 the rehearse uh, i mean yes the rehearse timing feature used to practice slide uh, so timings okay so let's go to the next question how can you create a chart in ms excel select data and click on insert chart use the formulas tab right click and select create chart go to the data tab and select chart so what is the correct approach okay so in this case also option 1 will be correct answer select data and click on the insert chart okay so i hope uh, this much of discussion is enough for today's session so if you found this video helpful then don't forget to subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and please suggest me which content do you want more which company's content do you want more and please suggest me in which part i should improve and also please uh, suggest your friend to watch from this channel so that they can also take help so that also get the get job okay and if you want again uh, to if you want to create the prime materials of essential or any company that you want then you can dm me at my insta id instagram.com/techno.ef we'll get that this is paid but very affordable okay so i hope you will so thank you for your attention please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends